Please welcome star of Life on Mars, Philip Bannister. Well, well, well. Now, um, now, listen, you have been in two of my really very favourite dramas. It was Clocking Off, oh. Fab, OK? And then um, State of Play. Right, awesome. thank you, yeah. And then followed it up with Life on Mars. I know, yeah. Because uh, that must be one of the... In Life on Mars, it must mm. be one of the most fun characters to go and play, to actually be in the 70s. Well, based on you. <laughs> yeah, well, perhaps that's why I enjoy the shoes, it so much. Particularly the actual shoes and the, you know. I must say, I do look at that wardrobe and think, that is yeah, you. pretty much the same <laughs> as what I've got. Exactly. I do like the camel coat. Camel coat is great. Apparently it's on eBay, so there's loads of them out there. <laughs> it, no, it's my It's I've, not. It's, I've got it. And also the music you've got is so much better than the rubbish now. Well, yeah, I, I agree. You know, The Suite, for instance, Ballroom Blitz, what a oh. fantastic record. There's a man at the back said, everyone attack, there's going to be a ballroom, ballroom blitz. blitz. There's a girl in the corner said, boy, I want to warn you, there's going to be a ballroom bli ballroom bli blitz. Ballroom <laughs> Blitz. Fantastic song. Great song. I right, And a who. Fantastic. And a lot of who and a lot of David Bowie. Of course, yeah, the governor. Because the thing, I'm, if I might just be so bold, the thing f that spoiled Life on Mars for me a little bit mm. was the Cortina that you drove. <gasps> OK, because the spoiler was two years out of date or something. It was the wrong Worse one. than that, we've actually got a picture of it. Uh, which I'd like. Now, you see, it's a GXL. Yes. And it's billed as a GXL, and it's got GXL headlamps. Right. But the vinyl roof was only available on the 2000E. Really? <laughs> Do you know, I think you're confusing me for somebody who gives a toss. <laughs> <laughs> this, but this, this is the trouble, is you get all these people in dramas and they work, you know, making sure that every Elizabethan button is exactly right and what have yeah. you, but they're not that bothered. They're just any old car will do. Oh, well, look, we've got a, a, a bunch of uh, sites on, on the web and everything, and uh, some of the, the, the attention to detail that they, they pick us up on... It's me! What? <laughs> Tapping away. It's got the E badge on the back. It can't. Do you know what this is? Genuinely, it's I've a, worked. It's a in... Maserati in disguise. I've no, no it's idea. It's worse. It's worse. What it is is somebody's cut the front end off a 2000E, which is a later model. Shoved the GXL front on it, so it's older than 25 years, so you don't have to pay road tax. You're driving a cut and shut car in a TV. <laughs> you are. Damn. Yes. <laughs> now you've come down. It was real. And also the I'll, Allegro. I'll get back on Monday and I'll tell them. Have you seen your Allegro, your Panda car? Yeah, I know. That didn't come until 76 or something. 79. 79. That's a series three. <laughs> How do you think we get such good ratings for this show? It's the attention it's to the detail. It's the attention to detail, Mark. absolutely. I mean... But, I mean, who... Because <laughs> <laughs> you're in this... There's, there are, you're doing the second series now, aren't you? We're currently doing the second series. We've got the, the DVD of the first series has just come out. So that's on release, and we're filming the second series. Um, uh, yeah, start uh, back on it tomorrow. Now, mm. you've got a BMW 3 Series, OK? 330, if I'm not yeah. very much mistaken. And you say the only thing um, wrong with it is there's not enough room for golf clubs in the boot. That's the only thing that's right about it, in fact. <laughs> I take it you're not into golf, Jeremy. Loathe golf. Do you really? play golf? Love it. Really? Mm, I do. It's my, it's, it's my I'm a member of, what, of the Stage Golf Society, which is... Second oldest society in the country. Oh, I love Larry Olivier's four at Wentworth. It's true. <laughs> it's the only place on a golf course you, you'll tee off. It'd be like, using three with Trish. I'm not sure, love. What do you think? <laughs> you tee off. It's like smashing drive, sweetheart. Thank you, Ducky. It Fully, is. Yeah. Fully theatrical. Oh, and it is a good game, is it? Because it just seems to me... It's a very good... frustrating... It's a great game. It's, it's the, I, I understand why people don't like it. it the, the, the problem with, with golf is, is the people that play it. Yeah, it's all that initials thing, you know, CJ, and if you don't address him by his initials... Yeah, and, and you've got... I mean, the... you know, I've been to committee meetings where they've discussed the, the length of your socks. Yes. You know, Machine gum them, is what you're just... <laughs> well, you just think, now, they're, they're, do we wonder why people hate us yeah. golfers? Now, your lap. My lap. How'd it go out there? How's the Lassetti? <sighs> What's that? You can't Paint, the Chevy. painting, innit? It was a bit... I'm going to make an excuse here. It was a bit wet. It was, oh, was it? A bit damp out there today. Trevor Reeve yeah. will be thrilled. A bit greasy. Gordon Ramsay be thrilled as well. Cause... No, well, I, was, look, I so wanted to beat Ramsay because he's so competitive, isn't he? He is very competitive. You see last week. Like, yes! You do describe yourself as a brilliant driver, safe and very careful. Naturally. 
It's a bit like cheap and cheerful, that. It doesn't really go together. Oh, you're right, actually. Did you do your own driving in Life on Mars? Did a lot of it, yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, no, you get a special thingy, one of those like, HGV... Have you got there. a knob on it? Yeah. Love that. Mm. <laughs> handbrake, knob. I want a knob, <laughs> handbrake. <laughs> I'd love a knob, honestly. <laughs> right? Come on our show, there's loads of them. Well, let's have, who, we have a look at the lap. I've test driven it in. <laughs> let's, uh, let's play the lap, see what's what. Oh, it is wet. Come on, baby, baby. Never suited hats. <laughs> <laughs> How was the stig? Was he kind to you? He was good. That's very neat. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon Ramsay been giving you lessons of how to go around Chicago. This doesn't look safe and careful to me. It looks. Now, are we going to understeer here? Yes, we are. Understeer. First time I've done that, Ben Badly. No, well, here we go now. This is it. Did you keep your foot down? Yeah, I think I did. Look at the face. Foot down, foot down. You didn't lift here. You promised. Oh my God, that's wide through there. That's where. He... There you go. Yes, no, it's in. You see? In the wet. Yeah, I'm really. Oh, this is slowed down a bit. Yeah, well that. In fact, are you now moving? <laughs> that's oh, no. the slow. What You've happened there? You've slowed the film down. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> is it across the line? Well, it's because on the, the five practice goes I had, I just kept spinning off that last bit. So yeah, but the there's a world of... Get into second, so there's I did. a world of difference between spinning off and slowing down well, it to... It felt a lot faster when I was doing it. <laughs> Even Terry you Wogan just... was faster through oh. that... No. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that's not true, actually. Terry Wogan wasn't that slow through there. But, anyway, where do you think oh. you've come? You're our first wet lap, so right. that does add a bit of time. Well, I don't think it was too good. I went mean, down in between Rick and Jimmy. No. no, not down there. You were quicker than Rick Waitman. You did it in one. 54.3. There you go. Uh, and it's wet. <laughs> so and it's wet. wet. You. OK. <laughs> that is a W. Ah. Uh, Pleased with that? Well, I mean, considering it was a bit damp out there. I think that was pretty good. Yeah. If only you'd have just kept your foot down a little bit more in those last two corners. You I know. Been... Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for coming. Philip Lannister! Thank you. Thanks, Philip.